around you, Boozy. Perfect timing. You look like you need a drink. I don't need any of your poison. I'm here to stop you. Your naivete exceeds no bounds. <laughs> Do you not perceive the magnificence of my plan? You're just trying to turn the whole world into a bunch of drunkards. I'm promoting happiness. Look at the fools below you. Not one has a care in the world. Pain is dull. Social outcasts find themselves in bed with moths. And the party never stops. And you know why? Because of me. All their suffering is gone because of me. Your tricks will lead to nice people getting hurt. It's not my fault if a few people can't handle their liquor.
behind the bottle, Boozy. This is your last chance, boy. Now drink it! I won't! You will. This is our destiny! Even if I have to rip that box off your shoulders! No! Go, 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 I've 
forgot what it felt like to do almost anything. I know he was a monster, but I was so close to becoming him. Yeah. How are we going to explain all of these deaths? <laughs> well, he was the aggressor, so we were basically just acting in self-defense. If there's an investigation, his blood alcohol content alone would be our winning ticket. <laughs> Well, that's good. <laughs> but I can't help but feel like I'm forgetting something. <clears throat> Why are you here again? Well, I came here to tell you that you're a no good, lousy, box headed freak. That stings a little. <laughs> yeah, it didn't feel quite the same way I wanted it to. No, I deserved it. I should never have said those things I said in front of the bar. You remembered? And been more thankful with your help for those books. You remember that too? And all those times at Fremont High. I can't believe it! And that time in Miss Stenson's class, and all those times in gym class, and that time in the, uh, the mall when you're Oh, shut up already! <laughs> something so good in just letting go and forgetting the consequences. Now that I've felt it, I don't know if I can control it. I'm scared. That's called being human. But the things I've done, there's nothing that sets us apart. Everyone has to learn somehow. Someone told me once, it's, it's not so much the actions, but what you learn from them that matters. You don't have to be him because you're not him. What? And hey, you have something he never had. Me. By your side. If you want it. It's not going to be easy. I mean, you're not perfect. I'm not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe, just maybe, we could be imperfect together. I'd like that. I think that would be amazing. Lizzie! Lizzie, why are you paying attention to me? I don't think I like him. Not now, Judy. Fine, I'll be your wing girl. But if he stays the night, we're throwing down. <laughs> <sighs> lab report to write, some news pictures to draw, and I have to register to vote. Y you know, I actually have no idea where my room is. <laughs> that can wait till later. We still have the rest of Sunday. Well, we could get pizza. We as in you and I? Of course. I can't think of any better way to spend my evening. Hey guys! Guys, we did it! <laughs>
of the Weekend Warrior. Grandpa, I think there were a few plot holes in your story. A wonderful tale indeed. <laughs> but what about As the... As they lived happily ever after. But where did they get the... One more word out of you, young lady, and you're grounded. <laughs> Where's the Weekend Warrior now? <laughs> One story at a time, my dear. This was just the tip of the spear. But rest assured, because of him, we live peacefully today. He sounds wonderful. That he was. But... Yes? How did you go from being a hobo to a clean old fellow? Merchandising. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, will you look at the time? I'm almost late for my daily application. Grandpa, what's that? Like I said, the weekend warrior had to improve society somehow. <laughs> Enough. 